Howdy everybody, old Jaybird here. Well, I did what I talked about last night and uh, <sighs> 31, I, dra I drained it to 3100 fuel pressure and I shot it until it was 3000. And I left it at that. I went on to bed. But when I got this morning, the dat gum thing was reading 1900 psi on the regulator. So I shot it a few times this morning. And it went, and it was a steady 1600 PSI on the regulator. So, a little while ago, like maybe 30 minutes ago, I filled it back up to 4350. And then I shot it five times. And I looked at the regulator side. 1600. 1575, 1600. It was just barely under 16. And that was after, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. I had some other stuff to do. But, uh, you know, some of them woman chores. But, uh, <laughs> I'm going to catch you for that one. But, uh, anyhow, that's where we're sitting at right now. I also built. And I added, let me see, I had a brand new regulator, took it apart, cleaned it up real good. I polished the bevel washers, and then I took two that I had extra, because there's ten. I did two more, you know, on the surfaces. Got them all looking good. So I put 12 washers inside the regulator now. That I have not, I haven't installed it yet. But I went off of a chart that had uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 40, 50. You know, just however many stacked in there. And I looked at three of the uh, 1500 PSI output on the uh, regulator so just in, within reason I added two basically so it's 12 then you got to stack them in there a certain way and all that shit and put them back together so that one is ready to go it's just going to be a swap out if I go back in there this evening and it's climb above the 1575 or 1600 at a 4350 fill it's probably like a little bit less probably about 3900 now after i shot it but um <clears throat> if that regulator climbs it's fixed to get yanked out and the one that i put the, the two at the 12 bevel washers in bevel I'm going to install it, and I'm going to work from there. Um, I got sort of kind of got a theory that, you know, we're not talking high-dollar regs or nothing, but they're fixable. That your fill pressure overpowers the reg. I made sure you had O-rings. I checked the O-ring real good. In fact, I replaced the one that came with the... Uh, regulator on that little stem part I put a little bit fatter one in there um, probably a half a mil thickness difference if they're two mils and it's two and a half now uh, greased it up I put a liquid Teflon on it but it's just sitting back there in my little work area so We'll see what goes on here in a few more hours. Other than that, stay cool, because this is a humid son of a gun over here in Texas. It's like 72 degrees today.
I know, sweating. Daisy's sweating. That horse never sweat. Well, she sweats when I ride her, because I ride her. I may not run her, but I ride her. But anyways, I'll holler back at y'all. Y'all take care.